take your mind back. Understand your body. Choose to know that your body is always doing the right thing. Get to know your body. Right? You know when foreign agents enter your body and your body starts producing mucus and all these different things. That is not the mucus is what you go after. It is the foreign agents that is causing, right? Because we always go after the cause. That's why I ask, where are the bats? What caused all of this? <laughs> and it's so easy to put, to create just about anything when it comes to the unseen. Because you're putting us in a position where you have to rely on media, the so-called specialists and professionals who are qualified to comment on shit like this. Like, like nobody else could say anything. My phone overheating, so out here steamy, yo. Steamy. Ha. Steamy, yeah, steamy. Steamy, yeah, steamy. You see, the good thing about the mind and body oneness for me is that I don't need diet. Um, I mean, just look at the look at the energy of the word. What is the the, the, the the triangle, the fire transformation in the word diet, right? I don't need a diet. <clears throat> when you know what you are, you don't need diets. You know that you are energy, and what you put in the body energizes the body. I understand. I understand. This is what we've been we've been taught so much stuff that we can't wait. Right? We can't wait for weekend to come so we could break the body down. Buy $300 bottles and, and guzzle that in a night. When we already know what this thing does to the body. So that means what? We... we, we to me, it's just that we don't know that what we are. We really don't know what we are. Because I don't see you knowing what you are. And you're poisoning the body on a regular basis, trying to break the body down. Because if you know the energy that you are, right, you just give the body what it needs and the body goes on. Energy don't die. It's strange, but as I say, we've been taught a lot of stuff. Battle. Right? Some of us out here battling who? Battling ourselves. Right? Ourselves is basically the illusion of what we are. Ourselves comes from everything that we've been taught. And when I say we've been taught, we've been taught, experienced in every which a way. It is what makes us who we are today and this is why so many people having a hard time because just imagine living in this society for how much any any amount of years right any amount of years and experiencing all the shit that happened over and over again because man don't have nothing new society don't have nothing new this is why we just repeat shit same game just different players right and all the struggles that you went through you still here today how are you going to let go of that when you feel that this is what have you here today who you have become but when you understand what you are then self goes to the side, you actually delete self. 
right? You delete self. And this is when you delete self, now you can move forward. There's mind and body, right? There's no room for yourself in here. You know, you're all talking about mental detox. If you really, if you all really want a mental detox, we could do it. We could do it. But you have to be able and willing to go beyond ancient Rome, ancient Greece, Egypt. You have to be willing to go beyond what you were taught was the beginning. Are you willing to go there? Shit, I will go there. That's the only place I know, because it is what we are. When we talk about the darkness, this is a reason why the darkness is so looked down upon. Because if you choose to know the darkness and know what you are, not what they tell you the darkness is, what you are taught the darkness is, or what you are taught you were, things are going to start changing because this is what energy is. Energy is constantly changing. It never does the same thing twice. Only men do that. And this is where society comes into play. 